Mayor Curry is ready to make a pitch to state leaders in Tallahassee to send more money here to Jacksonville. The mayor says the city needs funding for three important priorities, curbing violent crime, improving pedestrian safety, and preventing suicide among veterans. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett has been talking with the mayor's office about these issues. He's joining us live. Jim? You know, Tom, it's a busy night here at City Hall. Lots of people here, but the mayor's not one of them. He's on his way to Tallahassee right now, where he's going to ask for an additional $2 million to fund some very important programs to him that he says are important to the city. I kind of want to run down the list of what it's going to take place here. What we've seen, if you mentioned just a little bit ago, is the problems with pedestrians being hit and killed on our roadways. Well, just last night on Beach Boulevard, we saw that a man was killed. So the mayor is asking the state for an additional $750,000 to match $1.1 million that the city is going to put in on this to increase our crosswalks, to make them safer. You know, you've seen all of those flashing lights. They want to add more of those. Also, the mayor wants to expand an additional or spend an additional $750,000 from the state for the expansion of that Cure Violence program here in Jacksonville. The city's going to add $2.4 million into that. And what it's going to do is add to spread that area around Edgewood and 295. In that area in the last uh, three years really have seen uh, a number of shootings, 17 murders and 62 shootings. The mayor also wants to help veterans by adding half a million dollars to uh, the Northeast Florida Fire Watch. That's a suicide prevention program with a $125,000 match from the city. This is going to be in conjunction with our surrounding counties. It's to help veterans and it's a support program for them to help to uh, prevent suicide. Now, the mayor is on his way to Tallahassee where he's gonna be talking to state lawmakers. He's gonna be talking to both the Senate and House members tomorrow. We'll have a report from him tomorrow of exactly what happens and how that goes. We're live from City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.